What is going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a flashlight effect in Sony Vegas. Now just before I get into the tutorial, like say this is a requested tutorial as you'll see on the screen right now. With that being said, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. So getting straight into it and right here I have a clip I recorded. And as always, right click the video, properties, disable resample and uncheck maintain aspect ratio. The reason we do these two settings, because disable resample gets rid of any ghosting, Maintain aspect ratio gets rid of any black bars. From there select OK. Now let's just play through what I recorded. So it's just me walking holding the camera and you can see at times it's a bit dark then it's a bit bright. But as you can tell everything was recorded in daylight and we're going to make it into a flashlight effect. So I'm going to just stop it from here and we're going to start it from just when I open the door like there. So this is what we're going to be working with. So the first thing you need to do is right click here and duplicate the track. Now you should have two video tracks and that's what you want. So the one on the bottom we need to make it darker in order to make a flashlight on the top one. Now there is two ways you can do it. We can either just turn the opacity down so like 22 percent Or we can come on to video effects, add on color curves, and drag on night. So obviously it's a quicker way just to do that, uh, but of course you can just come here and drag on the night as well. I'm actually going to do it through the video effects, so I'm going to drag on night, and we're doing this on the first video track as you can see right here. Now you're going to get this, you can just ignore it and X out of it. And now for my video, I need to add on two nights, but other people it may vary simply because uh, my video was more bright so it depends the time of day you're recording how much lighting you actually get in. Now you can't see the effect just yet but if I uh, remove this top layer we have on as you can see you can see the door but it looks like it's in night time and that is exactly what we wanted. So now we get on to the flashlight itself so this is where we come to the top layer which we still haven't done anything to. So we're going to come to the event pan and crop and from here you want to make sure you select mask. If you do not have masks because I know some Sony Vegas versions do not have mask then you can go ahead and use the cookie cutter effects because it will give you the same thing we're just about to create. So from there zoom into your video a bit and you want to make sure you are on the circle or oval mask creation tool. So I'm going to select this and now just left click and drag out a circle. Now I recommend holding shift when doing this so the circle stays in proportion. As you can see as we dragged it out it shows the flashlight effect slowly starting to work. So as you can see we can uh, move it around and stuff. So it's right, I'm just going to position it there for now and if we just play through the video we're going to have uh, somewhat a flashlight effect and it's just going to stay there because as you can see the rest of the video is dark but that part is all bright and I'll just drag it on a bit longer so you can see more. So what else we can do? Well the next thing we can do is actually add a night vision effect to the flashlight. So the way we can do this is coming to color corrector. So we're just going to drag on the green highlight. This is what you're going to get, change it to custom and then just look for green. So just keep dragging it to green, make sure it's not too much because you will see it's going to go to a heavy green as you can see right there. And there we go, that's probably the good, good amount of night vision we need. Stuff right here you don't need to change so you can leave all that the same. You can X out of this and now let's play it through. As you can see it's already given us a night vision effect. We've got a green uh, flashlight I guess you could say and we can see around just like that. 
Now, if you just want a flashlight effect and you don't want any uh, green, then I recommend coming over to, uh, where is this? Here we go, so you head over to brightness and contrast and simply add on brighter, more contrast onto the top layer again. As you can see, it goes more brighter. You can also add on very bright. And is there anything else we could add on? Not really. So if we play this through now, as you'll see, the circle is so much more brighter and it gives it more of a flashlight effect. Now we can make this effect so much more better in many ways. We can add music, we can add a sound effect of a flashlight, and we can also add an image of someone holding a torch right in front of it. And I'm going to do that right now. So this is from Black Ops 2, I believe, or just the first Black Ops. And I'm going to right click here, insert a new video track, and it has to be above, like this. And as you can see, it's the uh, Python, I believe it has a flashlight to it as well. And we have to position it, so I'm going to use track motion to position this very quickly. And as you can see, we've put that into place. But something's out of place here. Everything in the background is dark, but the guy himself is bright. So the way we change his colour to a darker tone as well to make it look like he's in a dark place. Come back to colour curves and drag on night onto the image itself. As you can see, it gives us a dark impression if we drag on it one more time. There we go, he's almost camouflage in the night. So now if we play through it, as you can see, it looks like he's walking around with a flashlight and a gun. Just like that. And um, we can also make the flashlight move. You can use the event pan and crop for this again. And it's also under the masking tool. Now, for those that did this through the cookie cutter, you can also do this as well because you're able to animate the cookie cutter and move it around. So I'm going to come across to one second. Let's just look to the left, have a peek to the left. We'll come across again. We'll start looking to the middle right there. And we can't see anything just yet, but let's just keep going. Now you will see this will immediately look so much better uh, once we have added this effect. So let's just keep going. like that. So if I X out of this and we play it through from the beginning now, you'll see the flashlight is going to be moving in different directions. Just like that. Maybe it was a bit too fast. That is because I did do a uh, quite a lot of movements on the masking itself as you can see right there quite a lot of keyframes just for a uh, 10 second clip there so you just have to space it out but as you can see it's very simple to do you just make it dark you mask out a circle and then uh, you can change the settings you can add night vision or you can just make it look like a standard flashlight and that is how simple it is to do a flashlight effect in Sony Vegas now in the description I will link the image to the python and the flashlight itself. I will also link some sound effects for a flashlight as well. Like I said at the start of the video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Like I mentioned at the start of the video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. That's it for this video, thank you so much for watching, please subscribe, rate and peace.